Hello, in this video we will be discussing how to calculate the inflation rate using the consumer price index using the CPI. There are six steps to the calculation of the inflation rate using the CPI. Step one is fixing the basket. Step two is to determine the prices of each year you want to calculate the CPI for. Step three is the cost of the basket so you calculate the cost of the basket of each year step four is to determine the base year step five is to calculate the consumer price index of each year and the last step which is step six is to calculate the inflation rate using the cpi step one and step two are usually given to you in the question Step 3 is the cost of the basket. Step 4 is to determine the base year. The base year also is also usually given in the question. Step 5, the consumer price index, the CPI, or we can just call it simply as index. And the last step is to calculate the inflation rate using a goods formula. Now, let's look at how to calculate step 3, step 5, and step 6. So we are starting the calculation with the cost of the basket. To calculate the cost of the basket, the cost of the basket simply means how much are consumers spending for the total goods that we have. How much are consumers spending in total? That is, we simply say the price of the first good multiplied by the quantity of the first good plus the price of the second good multiplied by the quantity of the second good plus the price of the third good multiplied by the quantity of the third good and so on. So this will give us the cost of the first good that is how much consumers are spending on the first good. This second part here will give us how much consumers are spending on the second good and this Part here will give us how much consumers are spending on the third good and if there are more goods then we calculate on and on so when we add them up when we add the cost of the first good plus how much consumers are spending on the second good plus how much consumers are spending on the third good that will give us the cost of the basket for each year now let's start with this first box which is the cost of the basket for 2019 so the cost of the basket for the year 2019 equals the price of the first good, which is television, multiplied by the quantity of the first good, which is television, plus the price of the second good, which is burger, times the quantity of the second good, which is burger. Putting in the values we have equals the price of television in 2019 is $140. So we have 140 times the quantity of television, which is fixed, is 3 units. 140 times 3 plus the price of burger in 2019 is $10. Then times the quantity of burger, which is fixed, is 50 units so we have 10 times 50 to avoid confusion and to make the mathematics easy let's put a bracket to determine the cost of the first good and bracket to determine the cost of the second good so we have equals 140 times 3 will give us 420 plus 10 times 50 will give us 500 so that means the cost of basket in 2019 is $920. So we have $920 here. Next, moving on to 2020. The cost of basket in 2020 equals the price of the first good, which is television, which is $120 times the quantity of television, which is fixed. That's 3 
plus the price of the second good which is burger the price is 14 times the quantity of burger which is fixed that's 50. so simplifying we have 120 times 3 will give us 360 plus 14 times 50 will give us 700 so simplifying we have 360 plus 700 that will be 1060 so the cost of basket in 2020 is 1060 dollars and last moving on to the cost of basket in 2021 so the price of television in 2021 is 125 dollars times the fixed quantity of television which is 3 plus the price of burger is 16 times the quantity of burger is 50. so simplifying we have 125 times 3 will give us 375 plus 16 times 50 is 800 375 plus 800 is 1175 so the cost of basket in 2021 is 1175 dollars and this completes the calculation of the cost of baskets the consumer price index or simply the cpi is calculated by saying the cost of basket in the current year divided by the cost of basket of the base year then we multiply whatever the value is by 100 this is how the cpi is calculated for each year the base year is usually specified in the question in a case where the base year is not specified in the question always use the first year or the smallest year as the base year in this case our smallest year or the first year is 2019 what the base year stands for is the base year stands for the year you are trying to take as a benchmark to compare the increment in the price level now let's calculate the cpi of the first year which is 2019 the cpi of 2019 equals the cost of basket in the current year the current year stands for the year that you are calculating the cpi for in this case we are trying to calculate the cpi for 2019 hence 2019 is the current year so the cost of basket in 2019 divided by the cost of baskets in the base year and we have explained that the base year is always given if not given then use the first year or the smallest year in this case this is 2019 then whatever the value is multiply by 100 applying this formula we have the consumer price index in 2019 equals the cost of baskets in 2019 is 920 dollars divided by the cost of baskets in the base year which is also 2019 that's $920 then times 100 so we have 920 divided by 920 we are left to 1 times 100 that will give us 100 so this means the CPI in 2019 is 100 the CPI of your base year must always be equal to 100. The next year we are calculating the CPI for is the year 2020. So the CPI in 2020 equals the cost of basket in the current year, which is 2020, divided by the cost of basket in the base year, which is 2019, then times 100. So applying we have equals cost of baskets in 2020 is $1,060 divided by cost of baskets in the base year is 920 times 100 simplifying we have equals 1060 divided by 920 will give us 
five two three times hundred so we have one one five point two three hence the cpi in 2020 is 115.23 and for the last year the cpi in 2021 equals the cost of baskets in the current year which is 2021 divided by the cost of baskets in the base year which is 2019 times 100 applying we have equals Cost of baskets in 2021 is 1175 divided by the cost of baskets in the base year that is 920 times 100. Simplifying that equals 1175 divided by 920 will give us 1.27725. Times 100. So that equals 127.72. The consumer price index in 2021 is 127.72. And this completes the calculation of the consumer price index. One important thing to take note of is the consumer price index of your base year must always be equal to 100 also pay attention if the cost of basket of a particular year is greater than the cost of basket of your base year then the cpi will be greater than 100 but if the cost of basket in a particular year is less than the cost of basket of the base year then the cpi will be less than 100 that's just an important thing to take note of about your CPI values. Now, the last part, which is inflation rate and which is the main goal of the calculation. The inflation rate can be calculated in a number of ways. It can be calculated using the GDP deflator. You can check the video up here to see how inflation rate is calculated using the GDP deflator. But based on the information that we have right now, the inflation rate must be calculated using the consumer price index so how do we calculate inflation rate using the consumer price index since inflation rate is a growth indicator thus it follows a kind of a good formula so we have inflation rate inflation rate equals the cpi of the current year minus the cpi of the previous year divided by the cpi of the previous year everything multiplied by 100 so for the first year which is 2019 the inflation rate in 2019 equals the cpi the CPI of the current year, the current year is the year you are calculating the inflation rate for. So we are calculating inflation rate for 2019. So CPI of 2019 minus the CPI of the previous year. The previous year in this case will be 2018 divided by the CPI of the previous year, which is also 2018 then everything times 100 now based on the information that we have in this question we've been able to calculate the cpi of 2019 which is what we have here but there is no information about the cpi of 2018 hence we can't calculate the inflation rate of 2019 thus we put a dash for the inflation rate of 2019 Next, we are calculating the inflation rate in 2020. So that equals the CPI of the current year, which is 2020, minus the CPI of the previous year, which is 2019, minus the CPI of the previous year, which is 2019. So applying this formula, 
we have equals the CPI of 2020 is 115.23 minus the CPI of 2019 is 100 divided by the CPI of 2019 that's also 100 everything multiplied by 100 so 100 cancels 100 we are left with 115.23 minus 100 so the answer is 15.23 this means the inflation rate in 2020 is 15.23 percent next we are calculating the inflation rate in the year 2021 so this means CPI in the current year, which is 2021, minus CPI of the previous year, in this case 2020, divided by the CPI of the previous year, which is 2020, everything multiplied by 100. So applying we have equals, the CPI of 2021 is 127.72 minus the cpi of the previous year which is 2020 is 115.23 divided by the cpi of the previous year which is 2020 that's 115.23 everything multiplied by 100 so simplifying we have equals 127.72 minus 115.23 will give us 12.49 divided by 115.23 times 100. 12.49 divided by 115.23 will give us equals 0 0.1084 times 100. So that means the answer is 10.84. Hence, the inflation rate in 2021 is 10.84%. And this completes the calculation of the inflation rate. With this, we have seen how to calculate the cost of the basket, how to determine the consumer price index, and how to use the consumer price index to calculate the inflation rates. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave it a like and kindly subscribe to the channel. See you in another video. Thank you very much.